Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're here for the first time. I apologize if you can hear our dishwasher in the background. It's going, I think it's almost done, but I just wanted to go ahead and start this video and there's no really other place in our apartment for me to film. So anyway, I kind of just wanted to do a life update today on what's going on in our lives because I've definitely been kind of MIA on YouTube and that's not what I want but I've just been busy and kind of like waiting on some things and so I just wanted to share what's going on. If you saw the title of this video then you know that the biggest thing that has happened is that my husband and I have bought a house. It's not officially official yet because we close on it next week which is so exciting the closing was actually supposed to be like two days ago but then it got pushed out just because of a delay with some documents getting approved and so that was kind of a bummer but it's okay because we have a little bit of an overlap with when our apartment lease ends and when we close on our house so it's not that big of a deal but i'll go ahead and start with like why we decided to buy a house and everything i briefly mentioned this in my apartment tour video which is that's the whole reason why i went ahead and did an apartment tour because i knew we were moving soon and i wanted to just like have that to look back on for in the future and so yeah basically we just decided that it would be best for us to go ahead and just like try to look for a house see what we can afford in the area and everything like that i wasn't sure that it was the right thing to do there's the verse in psalms that says delight yourself in the lord and god will give you the desires of your heart meaning that he will help your desires to align with his desires he will put actual desires in our hearts that align with his will and i didn't have a desire to buy a house i have like i've always wanted to and i can't wait for that time in my life but it just felt really stressful to me and i felt like i I feel like it just wasn't the right time for us. I don't know. I just feel like I was really just like stressed on the idea of that. But I decided to fast from social media. This was like back at the beginning of March, I think. And I decided to fast from social media until I felt like God had given me an answer. And probably like a week and a couple days went by and I felt like God had given me a desire to have a house. We kind of started looking and Drew and I were praying about it and I don't know, it just felt like God was showing me that he was giving me that desire, like that desire was from him. And so I was so excited after I realized that and I just like could not wait. I had this dream of getting like an old home with lots of character and charm and I knew that it would probably have to be have to have like some renovations to be the aesthetic that we like, but I was super excited. But I soon realized that like where we are in South Carolina, there just like wasn't very much here, even for sale that we liked. And all of the older homes that I liked were like at the top of our budget and they all had, like they would have aspects of charm that I loved, but then they would also have like hideous kitchens, you know, just not very cute stuff. It was all just super dated. And I don't know, I just got really discouraged but again, I felt like God really changed my heart because I never thought I would want a new construction home because of just like the lack of character. They're all like super cookie cutter. Like I said, like God just completely transformed my heart to be really excited because we found this new construction home. And I at first was just like, no, I don't really like this. Like it's just so plain. I don't really like the colors they chose and everything when they were designing the house. And it, you know, just looks like every other house in the neighborhood. But God just really changed my heart to love that house and to be like super excited for it. So we ended up getting a new construction home and I'm really excited to just like find different ways to add character to the house and I felt like that would be a really fun YouTube series on just like adding charm to our new construction home. So basically because of all of that, I have been waiting. I, I honestly feel like I have just been so busy with 
photography because if you know anything about just like the nature of wedding season a lot of people get married in the spring and in the fall right now it's the springtime so I've been really busy with weddings and editing also I do a lot of grad sessions and so this is the time of year where a lot of people obviously are graduating from college and mainly what I do I do like high school seniors too but primarily college graduates and so I've been shooting a lot of those which has been so fun and I love it but I just feel like that has definitely taken priority over YouTube and so I've kind of had in my head like I'll get back on my YouTube grind whenever we buy our house because I want to like film a lot of that journey and everything and like moving in and an empty house tour and all that kind of stuff but now that our closing has gotten pushed out, I'm just like worried that it's gonna get pushed out again and that I'm just like pushing out YouTube. And I really do love YouTube. I love making YouTube videos, but I just feel like uninspired, honestly, with our apartment now. I've already started packing up some stuff. I don't know. So that's kind of where I am on that. But I made, I created a little list on my phone of other uh, life updates. So yeah, I'm really excited about the house. Hopefully we'll have some new house content soon. I'm super excited to share like what it looks like. I'm really excited and yeah, so that's the main life update and also the house is only like 15 or so minutes from where we live now so we're not like moving super far. Another update is if you guys have watched any of my move 2022 videos on YouTube like Natasha Ocean's Move 2022 program that I've been doing. I wanted to give an update on that because technically like I should have finished it like a few weeks ago um, because it's a 12-week program. I think I started it mid-January or so but I wanted to give an update on how that's been going. So I really do love the program but I had to push it out because originally I was like doing it perfectly perfectly as in like I was following it to a T I was doing like every single move that I was supposed to all of the reps even if I like failed I was still like going to the max amount of reps but I ended up injuring myself just like a quick backstory about that is in 2019 I got a herniated disc I don't even really know like what it was from but um, I've always had back pain and it got really bad my freshman year of college, which was in like 2018, 2019. So I ended up going to the doctor, had a herniated disc, and I've managed the pain by like going to the chiropractor and also just learning what I can and can't do. And so I've had a few flare ups since then, but nothing as bad as this. So I was literally just doing like squat jumps, weighted squat jumps with a barbell on my neck and I went down and then I came back up and it was just like immediate pain I could feel it in my like sciatic nerve and this was back in I think it was the beginning of March as well maybe end of February and it was so bad I could barely walk I've never had pain like that and I literally felt like I was never gonna be able to be normal again like it felt like something that was gonna take months and months and months to get better and I just so frequently have injuries I was so discouraged I was so sad my chiropractor that I usually go to he's like YouTube famous his name is Joseph Cipriano I only go to him like once every six to eight months but he was already booked out until June and that was like three weeks or three months away at that point and so I was just so sad. I was like, I don't even know what to do. But I ended up going to this chiropractor in Asheville, North Carolina. And um, he told me about 10 things that were wrong with me and my posture and my x-rays. And basically telling me it was super bad, so swollen. So I was able to get the swelling down. And honestly, like after a week... I was feeling completely normal and I'm just so so thankful to God and to that chiropractor for just like helping me. I was icing my back 24 7 as long as like the ice would stay on it and then it would melt. Okay Drew just came home and he's taking my car to get an oil change so I kind of forgot where I was because I stopped fil filming there for a second but yeah basically I was feeling better and I was so thankful about that and then now that I'm thinking about it this was like maybe the second week in March and my birthday is March 23rd so for my birthday um, like a week later Drew got me 
a pickleball paddle and if you saw my youtube short about it then you saw it so cute i was so excited and that's something that we've really been into lately is playing pickleball it's so much fun and so i was wearing my hokas which are like thick and they're all the way over there <clears throat> i'm not gonna grab it but they're like the thick sole ones and i didn't even like this is on me i didn't even think about like wearing tennis shoes on the court to me like all shoes that are like like hokas like all hokas are like tennis shoes i didn't know there was a specific type of tennis shoe that you wear on courts but i've since learned that so we were playing pickleball with this older couple that was there at the court. They just asked us if we wanted to play with them. So I'm like diving for this ball and I'm determined to get it. And then my ankle just like rolls. It felt like two pops in it and it was like so intense and it wasn't super painful, but it was just like such an intense feeling and it was hurting, but it wasn't hurting like super bad. And then later that day, I thought I was fine. Like I laid there on the court for a second and it was, I was like, oh, it hurts. I was like, it hurts. I don't know what's wrong. I was really nervous, but then I was like feeling better and then we kept playing. And then later that day after we went to dinner for my birthday and then later that night, we were just like in here watching TV and I look down on my ankle and I just see that it is like so blue and swollen and I was just so concerned I immediately started crying because I was like are you kidding me I already had to like put a pause on move 2022 the program because I couldn't do anything with my back and I just like really don't like it when I can't move around just like be active even if it's just like a light walk or something I just want to be able to move my body throughout the day and I, that's the main reason why I was so discouraged when I got hurt so then the second time I got hurt I was just so upset and the next few days I just iced it and it wasn't like hurting that bad unless I turned it to where it was like how I rolled my ankle and oh I meant to say the hokas like they're so thick and they didn't have grip and that's why it um my ankle rolled and also since they were so thick there was like so far for my ankle to fall so i would not recommend at least i'll show you guys the hokas that i have they're kind of dirty and when this happened it also um poked a hole through my shoe but i would not recommend wearing these for pickleball definitely find some shoes that have really good grip actual tennis shoes so after that i decided to take another little break for move i just like took about three weeks off and i finally started it again but then like i said wedding season started and i had multiple weddings on the weekends and i would just be like super exhausted so all that to say i have like a week and five days left so i will hopefully have an updated video of I've completed move in you know two to three weeks time because sometimes I record my videos and wait to upload them so that's the move update my ankle my back is fine my ankle still hurts with some movements and that's a little concerning to me but I hate going to the doctor and so I'm just like trying not to move it in the ways that hurt it and just hoping for the best that might not be the best thing to do but that's what I'm doing. Another reason why I haven't really been as present on YouTube in addition to just like not having as much time is honestly just because I feel like I haven't had as many ideas for videos and we're really trying to save money and um, not spend anything like right before we're about to buy a house and like buy all the stuff for the house. So I haven't been like doing any kind of like books shopping or thrifting or anything like that and I also haven't really been reading as much just because I have been like super busy during the day using my time to like edit pictures or do like administrative stuff or photography but something really exciting regarding YouTube is that 
For getting monetized on YouTube, you have to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. I recently, this past week, met the 4,000 watch hour requirement, which is just crazy to me. And so now I really just have to get up to the a thousand subscribers to be monetized, which is so crazy i can't even believe it but i'm so thankful and i'm thankful for everyone who watches my videos and make sure to subscribe if you are ready to help me reach my goal of a thousand but i'm super excited about that I've, it's almost been one year since i created my channel which is also crazy that's really exciting and then my last little life update i just wrote some things that I guess they're like my current favorites, like things that I'm interested in right now. I already mentioned this, but pickleball is so much fun and I just love it. My friend and I are going in a couple hours today and I'm so excited. Drew and I have been obsessed with Survivor. I've never watched it before, but Drew watched it like when he was a kid with his family. But Drew just started watching it randomly like a month or two ago and he... I don't know, like he just randomly just like wanted to have something to watch. So he started watching Survivor and then I started watching it with him and I was like, at first I was like, this is so dramatic. Like why are they acting like this is so serious? But then you just get into it and then you understand it and you're just like in it and I just love it. And now we're obsessed. I think we've watched four seasons, but we've been loving that. Also, we have been loving Jury Duty. If you haven't seen that, you need to watch it. If you have Amazon Prime, you don't have to like pay any extra for it. It's just on Amazon on Prime video and it's so funny oh my gosh it's hilarious it's a very much the office vibes but basically this one guy Ronald he thinks that he so he applied for this position he thinks that he has been hired on to basically be in a documentary about what it's like to be on jury duty but he doesn't know that everyone else in this show is an actor and they all like have different characters that they're playing and it's just so freaking hilarious and like he's just such a nice guy and he just goes along with the weirdest stuff that they're doing so it's so funny just the premise of the show is so hilarious so if you like the office or just like I don't even think you need to like The Office to think it's funny, but it's hilarious. It's just hilarious. And then my last obsession right now, but this is like a, a forever obsession, is Harry Potter. But I read the books for the first time in 2019, and then that's when like Drew and I both got obsessed with it with Harry Potter. And then in 2022, last year, we got annual passes to Wizarding World, and we went like four times, which was so fun. But we didn't renew our passes this year because of just like wanting to save money because it was really expensive and well the passes aren't that expensive but it was expensive every time we would go because we would drive and paying for a hotel and everything and food but we miss it so much and I just was missing it so much and so I decided to start the audiobooks and they're on Hoopla if you know what Hoopla is the app and so I've been listening to them and I only have like 50 minutes left of the last book oh my gosh it's just so sad like I just get so teary-eyed all the time watch or listening to it now so I'm about to finish that and then I might just like restart it immediately if you're a Harry Potter fan let me know what your thoughts are on the new series that's coming out um I don't think that it'll ever be as good as like the iconic characters but I'm just excited for some new Harry Potter content, so let me know your thoughts. But that's pretty much all of my life updates. Hopefully here soon, I'll have some house content, which I'm so excited about. But thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching my videos and helping me reach one of the two requirements for getting my YouTube monetized. That is just like so exciting and more than just like the monetization, I just think it's crazy that people have spent that much time watching me talk. Like <laughs> that's just wild to me. So I'm so thankful for you being here. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and like this video and I can't wait to see you guys in my next one. Bye.